Hello, this video is going to show you how to get started with the IBM workflow service that's available on Bluemix. So if you don't already have a Bluemix account, you need to go get one because everything that I'm going to show you is going to be using Bluemix and the DevOps service that's a browser-based ID that's used within Bluemix to create and deploy applications. As you can see on the screen here, you can sign up for free without any risk, so I, I recommend that you go do that first. I'm going to go ahead and log in to my dashboard on Bluemix. As an employee, I'll log in slightly different way. And when I log in, it's going to bring me to my dashboard. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that Workflow is a service, so you want to add it. In order to use it, you want to add it as a service. So if you just scroll down, you'll see there's an Add a Service option. Simply click on that, type in the word Workflow. It'll bring up the Workflow service right there right there easy to see. Simply select it. So we will add it as a service. And now here it's very important do not bind it to an application. Right? You want to leave it unbound specifically. And that's because this workflow service will be used by a bunch of different applications. It's it's not embedded in your application. It's a standalone engine if it were that runs the scripts that you develop for your solutions. And then you just click on Create. Now, I already have one, so I'm not going to do that step. But when you come back, it'll show up in your dashboard down here in the Services section. All right. Now, if you click on that, you'll know that, that it brings up uh, a nice little uh, getting started page that tells you what to do and the first thing that you'll need to do is you notice where it says install here you'll want to install this DevOps plugin associated with the service this will allow you to very easily create applications create workflow applications in DevOps that you can with a single button click and they'll show up in Bluemix so by all means do install and follow the directions. Now I'm going to scroll down here. The most important thing for you to remember after you install this plugin is that you need to copy this configuration information down here. This and and copy all of it. Make sure you get all of it. See there's a little little curly brace here at the end. This is actually the URL for this service and this is specific to the service that you just installed so you want to make sure that you copy that and then you'll go and configure the plugin in your project so when you click on configure the plugin it'll take you over to DevOps DevOps you know is IBM's uh, web-based IDE all right uh, you'll need to sign in here if, if you if you don't already have it and here I am in DevOps. Now if you notice in DevOps, if you come in in a different way you'll notice you've got these icons over here on the left like show the workspace, uh, show your repositories. The very last one down here is a configure option and down here these are all of the plugins that have been plugged in to my version of DevOps so I can use it. I want to configure my workflow plugin and that URL that we saw that needs to go, that needs to be pasted in here, right here, and I think you can see it. This is the service URL that was put in there so that I can connect to that specific service that I installed over in Bluemix. You'll notice you can have several different instances of it, and you uh, typically only have one, but if you need to have multiple ones, this is how you do it. All right, now once you have configured all of the, uh, the plugin and everything that you need, I suggest that you click on you know your stuff and here what you're going to do is you're going to create a new project 
So I'm going to say create a project and I'm going to have it, uh, let, we'll just call it uh, workflow video project uh, example. Uh, that's a terrible name, but basically you'll see here, and this is the URL for this project if you ever need to get back to it. In my case, I, I just want to use, um, oh, I'll use a Git repository. Um, the main thing that I want to do here is uh, I'm going to say that I want to deploy it to Bluemix. That's important because I want to be able to run this on Bluemix. Now when the project is created, it's just like any other um, DevOps project. There's, there's absolutely nothing different about it at this point. Uh, in order to invoke the workflow services, uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, add some code. So I'm clicking on the Edit Code button. And now that I'm in the code editor, what I want and what I need to do, what I must do is create a new file. And that file has to have an extension of JSFLOW, J-S-F-L-O-W, right? And I'm just going to call it file.jsflow. That, that's great for now. It doesn't matter what the name is, but the point is it's got that extension. Now that extension of .jsflow now enables that plugin. So if you click on your tools menu, you'll see that there are all sorts of neat little tools that you can use in order to edit the workflow. And the first one is you can generate a skeleton workflow. So I'm going to click on that. And you see this puts some code in here and this is the basic pattern of all of these projects, of all of the, the workflow language. You start by doing a receive get. This is waiting for somebody to ping that workflow service uh, with this little thing of null here, that means start a new instance of a workflow. That's what happens there. Then you can do any sort of code in between there and then you have the reply and this has to be a match set of receive and reply. And basically uh, I'll point you in a, in a little bit, I'll show you where there's a documentation for the workflow language. You can go take a look at that, but this is the basic pattern. Now I'm going to switch over to a more interesting project that I, I had set up, but, but just remember you can generate that, that basic framework to get you started if you need to. All right, so I'm going to switch over to that other project. So in this project you'll see I have a file called hello world workflow.jsflow, but this is kind of a, a good example because what this one does is it basically listens for the start of a workflow, then it builds a little form, sends that form back out to the a requester and then uh, processes the return. It's a good little start. Now the code that's here, the, 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 the plugin does syntax checking so that you can you can follow the code. If you make a mistake the syntax checker will catch it but it's still kind of hard you know reading the code to understand well what is the flow of this workflow. Well fortunately on the, the tools menu there's also a visualize and if you click on the visualize it shows you a nice diagram of what does a workflow look like that you've constructed. Now this is a simple straight through workflow but you can have splits, you can have joins, you can have all sorts of st stuff and that's documented over in the documentation of the flow language. But just remember, you can click on visualize and see what the workflow looks like. Now when you have it the way that you want it, then what you want to do is go into the tools menu and say deploy to workflow service. That's going to take this script and it's going to take this script and deploy it to that instance of the workflow service that was over there. You notice there was a little green uh, drop down up there on the menu bar that showed me that I had deployed successfully. And that's great because that means I can now go and invoke my workflow. So this tool actually allows you to pass parameters to your workflow, to start it, to pass parameters to it. But So that's how simple it is for you to create a project, write a little script, uh, test your script, uh, deploy it uh, to Bluemix, and away you go. It's just that simple. Now fortunately, um, 
Well, I say it's just that simple. When you get to more advanced things, then don't worry, we've got a lot of stuff to help you. So for example, if I go back to my uh, dashboard, you'll notice I have here on the, uh, on the dashboard, there are docs. If I open up the docs, I can easily find docs on workflow. Just type in the term workflow. There you go. Here are the documents on how to get started with it. Um, also, there are um, um, documentation on what the workflow language is, documentation on how to administer the workflows, and there are a lot of great samples, right? So, but you can also, if you click over here, you're taken to a project in DevOps that has samples in it. In this case, they're basic samples, advanced samples, uh, examples of how to do the linking. It's all really quite nice. If this still isn't enough for you, there's also a forum. So if I go to the community on Bluemix, you'll see that we have forums. And from that forum, just search on the tag workflow. And that will allow you to ask questions, see previous answers to the questions, and uh, basically get all the help you need. So that was kind of a, a whirlwind uh, tour of uh, the workflow service, but uh, I think you'll find it worthwhile uh, to play around with. Uh, we'd love for you to test it out, give us your feedback, and uh, join those forums. Thank you very much for your time.